Good morning, everybody. So as you can see, something's a little bit different now um, with COVID-19 and everything, with the travel restrictions and shelter-in-place orders. Hannah is unable to be with me. Um, we are located in different areas, so for the next couple of videos, we will not be in the same location until all the COVID-19 stuff kind of clears up. So just wanted to give a heads up on what's to come in the next couple of videos, that it'll be a little bit different format. It'll be either just me or just her. Maybe we'll do like some sort of FaceTime thing. Still undecided on that, but um, we'll kind of go day by day and see what happens with that. Um, but I just want to take this time and do like a COVID-19 update and how it relates to Disney and all that kind of stuff. So first of all, we actually had a trip planned to go to Disney World for a couple days and then go on a Disney cruise for a week in early May. And with COVID-19 and all that kind of stuff happening, it has been canceled. So I wanted to take some time to go through what Disney is doing about all the cancellations as far as we know right now. So there's been a lot of speculation of when will the parks open and basically nobody knows. Um, it's kind of a day by day thing with all these changes happening with um, healthcare and different areas being affected more so than others. It's kind of a guess as to when it's going to really reopen. Um, but Disney is taking some steps to work around people that have trips planned that had gotten canceled due, due to COVID-19. So because we were involved with the cruise and with Disney World, I kind of have some experience with both of those. So first of all, for this Disney cruise, if Disney canceled your cruise due to COVID-19, you have one or two options, either a 100% refund or a 125% rebooking. Now this rebooking does not include the entire amount you spent. It is just the cruise fare per guest, so the taxes and port fees and all that kind of stuff and like um, prepaid gratuities, all of that is automatically refunded, but the cruise fare per guest, that amount is the 125% for rebooking fees. That can be used within 15 months of when your original sale date was. So that's for the Disney Cruise. As far as Disney World, if you had a reservation booked at the hotels for the time that Disney is closed, what they're doing is you can rebook that for, I think it's June through September, and have a reservation that includes the dining plan and um, tickets, park tickets per day at no extra charge. However, this you kind of have to play with the rates a little bit because this is for the full price of the resort. So there's no annual pass discount that can be applied and get kind of both. You either pick the discounts or you pick the um, special rebooking offer that Disney has. And then the other thing is we are also annual pass holders. So how the annual passes are kind of going through this process is if you have paid in full, your annual pass will be extended through the amount of closure time after your annual pass extends. So, so say my annual pass ex expires in January and Disney is closed for two months total. Then it's going to expire now in March. So you, you get the bonus time added to the, end, added to the end of the annual pass if you bought it outright. If you do the monthly payments, um, you have the option to uh, skip your payment during all this closure time and end on time or have the same option as uh, the paying outright and extending it those couple months. So there are some things that Disney is doing, um, which is good to see that Disney's kind of being proactive with all this because um, there's so many unknowns happening and it's kind of a day by day thing. So as I said before, the next couple of videos, because of the, our situation being separated, are going to be a little bit different format. So just kind of bear with us. We will be going back to Disney. Uh, we just don't know when yet. So we do have some trips planned in the future. The outcome of those is still unknown at this point because of COVID-19. Lastly, I just want to say thank you to all of our frontline workers out there, everybody working in the hospitals and grocery stores, convenience stores, restaurants, post office, delivery drivers, truck drivers, everybody, just thank you. Um, quarantine has not been easy. Um, it's been a lot of changes, but you are helping us get through it. I know, because um, I work at a hospital myself, and it has been a lot of changes happening, um, and it's, like I said before, it's a day-by-day -day thing. We don't know what the next day has been. I know for hospital staff, it's been a lot of like different appointments, setups, and that kind of stuff. So it, it's been a learning experience for all of us involved. And I just want to say thank you to everybody out there. 
because we are getting through this together. We're all in this together. So I hope everyone is staying safe and staying healthy. Um, there will be more videos to come, but they will just be a little bit, a little bit different format. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you real soon.